Today, we are honored to be welcoming one of our own. Certified in internal medicine and geriatrics, he is an experienced physician at the UC Irvine Healthcare Senior Health Center. Also, an associate clinical professor here at the UC Irvine School of Medicine in the Department of Internal Medicine and Geriatrics, he is here today to share his vast experience and knowledge of the Vietnamese elderly patient after working with the population for over 10 years. Please help me in introducing today's speaker on the topic of the concerns and disparities of the Vietnamese geriatric patient, Dr. Chin Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'm Ching Lei uh, from um, Senior Health Center. Um, my main job is to, um, to help the senior in, in the uh, health center clinic, and I also help um, senior at the uh, skilled nursing facility. Um, I'm helping with um, training, in training uh, fam uh, resident and medical student in the clinic and the uh, skilled nursing facility. Um, today, I would like to, to share with you um, some cultural effect and um, ethnic diversity in healthcare uh, for Vietnamese people. Um, and uh, with that, I hope to, to emphasize the importance of um, uh, how to care for uh, people in different ethnic groups in a cultural appropriate uh, so that we, we can uh, get a better outcome. Um, during this uh, presentation, um, if you guys have any questions anytime, don't hesitate to uh, raise your hand and uh, interrupt. Um, I don't mind and uh, I'm happy to um, to answer your question anytime. Um, American Mosaic. Um, I remem remember this name because um, when I back when I was in Vietnam, like thirty years ago, uh, I started learning English to prepare to to go to study in America. So. Back at that time, uh, Vietnam under communism, uh, very, very strict government rule. So there's no communication with the Western world. There's no movie, no TV uh, in English. So um, one way I, I learned English is to listen to um, radio, the VOA, and um, one specific uh, program designed for English learner is uh, American Mosaic. I mean, uh, the, the, the speaker speak at pretty slow speed, so. Anyway, then I learned uh, Mosaic is, um, it's uh, an art of uh, uh, making picture uh, uh, by putting uh, small pieces together, like, like the picture we have here. Um, so um, I'm always thinking about American mosaic uh, since I come here because I realize um, the American, the America, we are such a diverse society. We have multiple cultures, and that one of the big strength of the America. However, um, it does have some issue with um, well, carry with, 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 with Estelle. Um, this slide show that um, in our um, US census 2010, we have probably more than 150 um, ethnic groups. So that's, uh, just, just, that's show how diverse uh, our society is. And um, it's matter because um, um, they, they, they projected um, we will become more and more diverse in the future. By they expect 
by 2015, uh, 50, um, half of American uh, from minority group. So uh, we're going to be more and more diverse in the future. Um, diversity does have some problem with it. Uh, and um, we focus on healthcare today. And um, again and again, we have a lot of data that showed um, uh, discrepancy or uh, disparity in healthcare uh, between any group. For example, um, this uh, statistic, this data showed that um, a minority group are more likely to to, to, to consider their health status as uh, fair or poor compared to uh, Caucasian people. Um, or the Asian or Hispanic people more likely to, to go without yet their care need uh, 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 checkup. Like, uh, uh, that means even though they, they have some medical problem, they, they just go on uh, without taking care of the problem. Or um, his, especially like Hispanic people, uh, they're more likely to have no family physician, so uh, etc. Um, more and more data. Um, another thing, for example, um, the Asian and Hispanic uh, group tend to have uh, less mammogram completed compared to uh, Caucasian people. Or some uh, other any group like in, in uh, African American people, they tend to have more likely uh, have our heart disease compared to other ethnic group, for example. Um, or just like in health general lifestyle, um, the the Vietnamese group tend to have to tend to have less healthy lifestyle compared to other like eating less uh, fruit, less vegetable. Uh, less exercise, uh, have uh, less likely to have mammogram or pap smear than routinely, like uh, compared to uh, Caucasian people. So we, we do have a disparity uh, between uh, the ethnic group. Um, what caused that? What caused us? Um, today I'm going to uh, get you through to take a look, a detailed look in the Vietnamese senior group, uh, hopefully uh, to, to show you two things that are important that may have, that may create the disparity in healthcare uh, between different ethnic groups. Now, focus on the Vietnamese people uh, right now, according to the U.S. Uh, Census 2010, uh, we have around one and a half million Vietnam Vietnamese in America. And um, some you may not know, Vietnam is a small country uh, located in Southeast Asia, to below China. And because of this uh, location, you know, uh, next to China and um, um, China is a big country, and uh, so uh, the Vietnamese for thousand years uh, have a lot of influence in some cultural practice or tradition uh, from China, from Chinese people. For example, uh, common teaching in Chinese people like uh, Confucius. Uh, Taoism, uh, acupuncture, um, herbal medication, etc. Um, 
also very popular in, in Vietnam. And um, Vietnam also have uh, almost 100 years colonized by French government. So um, the Vietnamese senior here in America uh, also have some influence by, by the French culture. That um, can be reflected in later uh, in, in their tradition. I'm, I'll show you later. Um, most Vietnamese people uh, live by farming and then fishing. And um, so it also uh, reflected in, in the, the social, economic, um, uh, demographic of the Vietnamese people in America. Excuse me, just so I have the geography right. The French call uh, the region they colonized Indochina. Mm -hmm. Is that just Vietnam or it extended beyond the current border of Vietnam? Um, that's the whole region. Was it Be, yeah, that, that's the whole region. Uh, that back like uh, 18 something, you know, like, like 150, 200 years ago, when they first came, and then they, they called the whole area like Indochina. And the borders were created by the French or by the. The, the border created by, by the country in the area itself. The Vietnam country has been existing for more than 4,000 years. So the border has been there for you know, a few thousand years, but, but the, uh, the French um, uh, government, when, when they come and colonize the area, they, they, they take over the whole area. So they don't care about border. They, they just uh, get the whole area. Mm -hmm. um, so, so why we have a pip, uh, more, than, like, more than one and a half million Vietnamese uh, in America now. Um, the, there's a, uh, several, mainly three big waves of uh, Vietnamese immigrants to America uh, started uh, back in 1975. Um, before 1975, Vietnam divided by two, North Vietnam and South Vietnam. North Vietnam um, under communism, and then South Vietnam under Republic uh, Vietnam. And um, 1994, I mean uh, 1975, uh, South Vietnam fell to uh, North Vietnam, the North Vietnam took over. So that make um, a big way of uh, South Vietnam, uh, South Vietnam primarily government official, uh, army, people in army, etc., uh, fled to um, America. That uh, created the, the first wave of Vietnamese immigrants to, to America. Uh, the second wave happened between around 1978 to 1990. Um, primarily, just the Vietnamese people, mostly South Vietnam, uh, they could be farmer, businessman, teacher, etc. Um, they cannot tolerate uh, communism, so they escape by both. That's why we have the name both men. Um, so this way people, uh, because the, they, they, they have to escape by both, is a very dangerous uh, journey. So. A lot, a lot of them may suffer from uh, a lot of trauma from the journey. Different from the first wave, first wave more like uh, official, uh, um, government official. They more educated, uh, westernized, and working with the um, um, uh, American government for several years. So, um, so they're, they're a little different. The third way happened uh, between 1990 and 2000 um, un under a program uh, sponsored by America, the humanitarian program, um, to sponsor only 
former uh, South Vietnam Army who had to go to the communist camp for re-education. And after they released from the camp, the, the, the HO program uh, sponsored them to America. So that created a big way. And probably this, this is the big, biggest way. And probably most Vietnamese senior now uh, belong to, to that, uh, the last uh, wave of uh, immigrants. So the history of different wave of immigrants um, telling us, uh, even, even in, in the Vietnamese uh, uh, group, um, there's, very, there's a, a, a wide uh, variety of um, different level of uh, acculturation to Western culture and different uh, in um, economy, different in um, uh, education, etc. Um, that um, will really also affect uh, um, their, their behavior in, in, in healthcare because the more acculturated to the Western uh, culture, um, the, 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 the patient usually, uh, the, the people will easier to, uh, to get in the, the system and um, um, less problem compared to, to the other. So now let's, um, uh, let's take uh, uh, Mr. Nguyen. Uh, he is, is 75 years old, a pretty typical Vietnamese senior. And he walked into the clinic and he complained, uh, main complaint is he lost weight uh, for the last several months. Um, he, he lost significant weight for the last three months and um, he denied any symptom of depression. Uh, depression is one of the uh, common medical problems causing weight loss. Patients with depression will lose, uh, unable to sleep, loss of uh, appetite, loss of weight, and feeling really depressed. But uh, he denied he, he, he doesn't feel, feel depressed at all. Um, when we asked him about history of uh, past medical history, he mentioned uh, he had history of TB before, and uh, back in, when he was in Vietnam and he was treated uh, back in 1990 before he came to America. And um, he also had history of uh, um, uh, chronic hepatitis B. So, um, when we, um, when, when we uh, get the information history uh, from Mr. Nguyen, mentioned about TB um, and uh, hepatitis B, um, what, what it tells us about uh, the management, uh, about healthcare for, for Vietnamese people, for Vietnamese senior. Um, when we deal with um, immigrants, uh, immigrants, uh, recent, especially uh, Im uh, recent immigrants, uh, we usually have to keep in mind the possibility of uh, infectious disease, uh, different from what we have here. Um, and uh, the common re uh, thing like um, uh, we, we, we see in uh, immigrant people are TB. Uh, the Orange County, we have around 300,000 people, and uh, I'm sorry, around 3 million people, and there's already 300,000 cases of uh, TB infection. And uh, most of them are uh, latent TB. That means uh, the patient has no active symptom, just have positive uh, skin test because the uh, patient exposed to uh, TB before. So um, of those um, um, 300,000 people with latent TB, every year we have uh, 200 people convert to active TB. Uh, so the uh, incident rate is around like 
cases per uh, 100,000 people. So it really higher than um, uh, the, the, the normal uh, rate of uh, the, the country, the nation, around 3.8. And we can um, um, understand because there are a big group of Vietnamese people in Orange County, uh, probably around 200,000 Vietnamese people around uh, Orange County and LA County. And um, most of those TB uh, cases uh, reported to um, Orange <coughs> County come from uh, immigrant groups, uh, Vietnamese, uh, Mexican, Philippine, and uh, Korean. Um, also, besides TB, um, chronic hepatitis B also a common issue. Not only chronic hepatitis B, but also hepatitis in general, like hepatitis C also. It's common in, in uh, immigrant. Um, and um, so that's, um, that's something um, uh, we, we should have uh, to keep in mind when, when we're helping people um, uh, uh, in minor, minor, minority group or immigrant. Um, beside that, um, other tropical uh, infectious disease also um, are commonly seen. Um, for example, uh, recently I I um, I see a patient uh, in the hospital. I'm on call, so uh, I, I come in and make round and and that's one. Um, Vietnamese American, uh, he around 40, so he came here, he around uh, 15 or so. He just traveled back to Vietnam and he come back, he present, he was admitted, he had to go to hospital because of high fever and, um, and very low platelet. So, um, because I, I, I'm very familiar with um, the common in, infectious disease in, 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 in tropical country in Vietnam, so the first thing in, to come to my mind when I heard about that uh, is patient have dengue uh, fever, um, and um, um, the, the order the, the uh, blood test etc come back consistent with that. But um, um, the, the the admitting team uh, because um, not familiar with with, with um, the um, infectious disease in, in um, tropical country, um, worry about not infectious disease, but worry about uh, hematology problem and, you know, uh, thing like that. Um, it just uh, emphasize that if we, we understand uh, a little bit the uh, background of uh, uh, different ethnic medical profile, um, then um, it will help to um, Help the patient easier. Um, when we asked Mr. Nguyen about his uh, social history, so he have uh, he finished only high school and he had to spend uh, eight years in the uh, communist uh, camp, camp, re-education camp, and he speak primarily Vietnam, Vietnamese, um, and he unable to fill out the uh, screening form uh, in English. So those information uh, bring up anything, um, affect how it affects our care for, for, for Vietnamese senior groups. Um, this, um, that, that, uh, this, this study, this slide, show a study uh, done in uh, Aust Australia. It's about um, a study to follow um, the immigrant, Vietnamese uh, immigrant, primarily Vietnamese, uh, to uh, Australia. And um, they follow to see um, how the, the uh, mental health problem uh, in, in those group of immigrants. They interview around 1,000 people. 
And um, they found out that uh, uh, the more people has trauma, the more likely they're going to have mental health disease, um, either early or later uh, after uh, the event. Um, for example, people with uh, more than three trauma, 20%, they're going to have mental health problem compared to people with no trauma, just like 3%. So um, the, the Vietnamese immigrant, especially um, senior, they already had the background of uh, a lot of trauma, either during the war or after the war in the uh, re-education -educa re camp. Um, the mental health uh, is an issue uh, we should always keep in mind. Um, and also another study, um, they look at um, the people who used to be re-education camp. And um, those people was um, hit to, to, to the head, so they have like traumatic head injury. So they monitor, uh, they do CAT scan to measure the brain of those people. And, um, the conclusion is um, uh, the cortical thickness of, of people with head trauma injury are thinner than, than the control group, and the people with head trauma injury are more likely to have uh, post-traumatic uh, stress disease or depression. So um, uh, the, the um, the people uh, with uh, head trauma are uh, more likely to have mental disease, mental disorder. And um, um, the history of um, uh, English, um, uh, uh, limited speaking in English, uh, very common more in, in uh, the Vietnamese group compared to uh, other ethnic group. And um, um, it also, um, it also affect the healthcare for, for, for the patient. Um, this report um, review like um, people compare people with uh, English less, less than uh, proficient level compared to uh, English proficient level. And people with uh, uh, English problem obviously have a problem with understanding the instruction, uh, understanding about the side effect with uh, uh, the medication, and obviously uh, end up with more and more likely to have Adverse side effect from medication. So um, when we talk about, uh, we we talk, we ask Mr. Nguyen about what is medication in U.S. home. Um, he admitted that um, he used um, some over counter medication, some herbal medication, and. He often uh, has coining, coining when he get a corn or, or ache of pain. So, uh, uh, with that information, uh, what we think about uh, the Vietnamese people, um, the coining and herbal medication is um, in the, in uh, is uh, our uh, thing in, in the group we call complementary alternative medicine. Um, and it's very commonly used in Vietnamese people. Um, this study showed that um, they, they, they interviewed a group of um, 1,200 Vietnamese and uh, almost 1,800 uh, Chinese people. And they, they check to see if, if the patient ever used uh, alternative medicine. 
the incident uh, will be like more than 70 percent in Vietnamese people have ever used the uh, one of the alternative medicine um, and um, almost 20 percent of them recently used within the last week and the common uh, alternative complementary alternative medicine used are herbal medicine uh, acutherapy that means uh, acupuncture or uh, coining, uh, cupping, or massage. I will show you later. Um, the reason the Vietnamese, especially Vietnamese senior, uh, often use uh, complementary alternative medicine, uh, the reason is, the, um, as I mentioned earlier, they uh, under influence of uh, the Chinese culture uh, of using uh, a lot of uh, herbal medicine and uh, some um, teaching like yin and yang. Um, the yin and yang uh, philosophy um, think that um, uh, for a good health, the body must be uh, maintained in a balance between the yin and yang force. What's the problem with that? The problem with that is um, a lot of Vietnamese people uh, consider some food or some um, um, uh, some food or, or some medication as especially like Western medicine consider as uh, hot and some food like uh, alcohol, tea, uh, potato, milk. Uh, in heart, in heart group, make body heart, um, and for example, they um, they assume you know like like, like skin problem like acne or uh, some other skin rash, they they they, they think that because of body heart, so one way to to treat that is to, to get some core stuff, some core stuff so like uh, some traditional medicine, some kind of vegetable, uh, good, that's uh, also considered uh, um, uh, a concept. concept. So uh, that's the, the, um, the rationale for, for the Vietnamese to, to use um, um, some alternative medicine uh, to, to balance their health. Um, Dr. Moore, uh, she reviewed the um, behavior of Vietnamese uh, with diabetes uh, in the Vietnamese community. And uh, one of the things is uh, she, she noticed that a lot of people um, using, try to use herbal uh, medicine before, before they uh, get into the uh, uh, Western medicine. Um, so obviously, um, it may create some um, adverse effect because uh, it may uh, make uh, either late diagnosis or um, the patient end up with a very bad complication or outcome before a patient get uh, appropriate treatment. Um, when you examine Mr. Nguyen, Sometimes you may see some red mark like this. And um, nowadays, most of us probably already know that what, it, what it is, but back in uh, 1970, 1980, uh, when the Vietnamese first came here, uh, there also there were already uh, a couple of like, police report because uh, they found, the, the doctor found the skin mark like this, and, and uh, report to uh, police because possible like uh, violence, family violence or something. Um, so coughing is um, it? Um, I mean, I mean coining. Coining is um, usually um, uh, the people use um, some kind of uh, oil, uh, medicated oil. Uh, uh, 
put on the skin and then use the coin to rub. Um, the rationale behind that is because um, um, that the, the, um, um, the theory of uh, qi in Chinese, qi, that means uh, um, our body has, has a, a, a flow of, of, of energy flowing in the body and then that makes our body work. And then if um, it, it gets stuck, like traffic, then uh, it uh, makes the patient too sick. So, so the coining, the coining is to help, help the flow uh, recirculate again. Uh, that's, that's the idea behind that. So the, 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 so they drop to, to, to get it uh, flow again. Uh, the more red, the, uh, the better the, the, the better it work. Um, a similar thing is uh, coughing, coughing. Uh, I mean the um, they warm up the, the cough and then uh, put on the, uh, put on skin and uh, the vacuum created in the cup will pull the the, the, the skin up, and um, that also a, a way to um, to kind of like recirculate uh, the, the energy flow in, in the body. What kind of complications do, you, do, do people rub uh, antibiotic? On these things, they ever get no, usually they, they use just some um, um, some common medicated oil. Um, I know I know uh, the Vietnamese very often use the oil made from uh, one kind of uh, tree from the leaf. Um, I, I I can I don't I cannot tell uh, the English name. I, I don't know what, uh, but. But that's uh, the common oil they put on. We don't have that kind of tree in California. Yes, we do. Yeah, I see it very often. Eucalyptus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, Eucalyptus. yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, communication, yes, I'll show you. Uh, so this is now coning and, and cupping. And this is um, the picture I get from my patient uh, just last year. She do coughing, but probably she probably overheated or what, put it too long or what, so uh, it get burned, you know, like uh, first degree, uh, second degree burn. So uh, it's probably, uh, most people uh, go okay without those complications, um, but, but uh, that's something keep in mind. May, cause injury. So, um, because we talk about uh, weight loss, um, the patient present weight loss, and then one of common cause of weight loss is um, cancer, especially old people. So, what kind, uh, the cancer in old people, Vietnamese people are the same as uh, Caucasian people, or African people, or are they different? Um, yes, they, they are different. Um, the Vietnamese people, it turned out, Vietnamese people have very little or less uh, breast and, and lung cancer. Breast and lung cancer are top three cancer in, in, in America, in Caucasian people, but it turned out less in, in uh, Vietnamese people. On the other hand, they tend to have more uh, cancer with the stomach, with the liver, and, um, uh, and the cervical cancer. So that also uh, brings us um, another point. Um, um, every every um, any group has their own health profile, uh, a little different. Um, and I don't know how long it takes to, to change it, to make it uh, completely uh, similar to, to, to the main flow uh, we have here. Uh, I don't know how long it takes, uh, it, it ever change or no, but uh, they're different. Um, now, uh, 
after the assessment and uh, we think the patient, uh, uh, we think the patient have probably had a depression, and um, we uh, advise the patient uh, to take uh, treatment for the uh, depression. So, in terms of mental health, uh, psychiatric problem in the Vietnamese people, what what could be the barrier? Yes. Language. Yes, correct. Um, I just clarify the clan, the language means uh, we may not understand the patient well. Uh, on the other hand, it also means we don't have appropriate um, assessment scale or as, as assessment tool to assess the patient. Well, you know, for example, in uh, typically we we uh, diagnose uh, our, uh, the depression. Uh, in, in senior, we use the a AGS um, scale. Uh, uh, America, uh, uh, J, uh, I'm sorry, uh, geriatric depression scale. Yeah, GDS. Um, however, um, that that scale doesn't work for for, for Vietnamese people because of language, because of culture. Um, so we cannot use your assess. So sometimes, um, and um, another beside the language, is other culture, uh, cultural factor. For example, um, the um, the Vietnamese consider uh, mental health is a big uh, stigma, and then they try to to avoid that uh, because um, they think. Uh, mental health happen only uh, in people with uh, weak mind. Uh, so, so if we are strong men, we we, we should not have uh, mental mental health. So uh, they tend to to be um, in denial, and then even family um, hesitate to uh, to get uh, the, the the family the loved one to have a good assessment and treat for that because they want to cover it up. They're afraid um, the reality will know about that, the, the, the uh, community will know about that, and, and they, they, they were afraid they, they uh, lose face. So uh, social stigma is a, is a big barrier. So it, we, we can easily set uh, it under-diagnosed and uh, under-treated. Um, another barrier is traditional belief, and as we mentioned earlier, it related to um, um, the the um, uh, philosophy of heart and core or herbal medication. Um, they be, because um, they think uh, the Vietnamese people, especially senior, may think. Uh, Western medication, including antidepressant, uh, heart medicine, and the haste that you take it. Um, I, I I have a patient. Uh, he he know he know he take he feel better when he take uh, the medication, but um, he take a uh, few day he feel better he stop. When he feel bad he take again etc. Because uh, and I, I asked why he do that. He, he said uh, uh, he afraid uh, uh, hard. It it is it, hard for his liver. That's usually the, the common thinking. So that uh, also another barrier. Um, acupuncture acupuncture used uh, very often in, um, in 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 the Vietnamese community and. Um, Acupuncture sometimes uh, is good, sometimes uh, we're not sure. Um, the, usually um, in the community, they, they use it for primarily two reasons. One is uh, paralysis, because for example, uh, people have stroke and then have one side weakness, paralyzed, um, and after rehabilitation, uh, several months, there's no more improvement, um, and then um, our Western doctor tell the patient, um, that's it, we don't have any medication to, to make it stronger. So 
they one thing they they uh, they, they will consider is uh, acupuncture, and uh, the, does it work? I don't know, but um, uh, sometimes there's patient uh, getting stronger with acupuncture, uh, but uh, other patient no. Um, so we don't know, but acupuncture is um, uh, commonly used. Um, another thing they use acupuncture is um, for pain, uh, and um, um, it also sometimes works, sometimes not work. And um, um, obviously, um, if um, the, uh, we able to use acupuncture to relieve ch chronic pain instead of taking pain medication, I think that probably is very helpful. So. Um, not surprisingly, uh, lately, if you notice, um, we do have almost every university, there's a uh, center of uh, complementary alternative medicine uh, to, um, to, to study or, or, or to use uh, herbal medicine or acupuncture. I think we do have a center here at UCI. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that's also a com common thing in the Vietnamese culture. Now, um, when, when we help uh, Vietnamese, uh, especially Vietnamese season, senior, we may also run into other uh, cultural barriers. Uh, uh, for example, uh, advanced directive. Uh, typically, uh, the Vietnamese senior has no event directory. Uh, so, because they assume when, when they get old, uh, their children will take care of them, will, will direct the care for them, will, will decide what bad, what not, uh, what, what good, what bad for him, and then uh, what, which way to go. So, they, they tend to defer it to, to the children. Um, they don't make uh, advance directive to, to make uh, their wish known or something. So um, it's become complicated when um, patient um, in critical condition and, and um, the, the, uh, the family uh, have conflict in, um, in, in the intensity of care for the patient and then that uh, create a lot of problem. Um, responsible party for, for the senior, um, the Vietnamese senior consider uh, their oldest son is the one who make decision for them. Um, so not the one who live with them. For example, uh, some, uh, some time, um, the senior live with uh, their daughter, and um, the, the daughter take care of him uh, for everything. Um, but but when um, the critical time come, and um, you know the, the son from other state come back, and um, they they they, um, they they change their the. The, 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 the way you care for, for the parents. So uh, the conflict may happen and uh, it may complicate the care for the patient. Um, death and, and dying through telling. Um, usually, again, the, um, the senior tend to, re, uh, to defer the decision on, on, on the children. So the children tend to be in charge for, for the parents. So they 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 they, they tend to one they, they tend to not telling, not to disclose the the bad news uh, to the patient because they think uh, that will adversely affect the uh, the, the senior health. So sometimes um, we. Um, uh, but uh, in common practice, we, we uh, uh, approach the, those Vietnamese family. Uh, we have to keep it in mind. Um, 
otherwise uh, we may uh, uh, have some uh, conflict with, with uh, the family on the issue. Um, another uh, issue we, we, we also often seen in um, uh, Vietnamese uh, family is the uh, caregiver burden. It, it happens uh, very often. Uh, for example, um, the, um, um, the culture is um, the, uh, the, the, the wife or the husband have to take care of their uh, spouse um, no matter what. Um, you know, to, to, uh, to, to, to look good, to look good with, with um, the children or, or with, with the uh, community. So um, sometimes um, the, um, the caregiver uh, overwhelmed because um, they are unable to provide enough care for, for their spouse. But because that kind of cultural pressure uh, they don't give up, they, they just keep it and, and, and um, um, unfortunately unable to com uh, provide enough care and end up with uh, uh, some adverse effect on, on the patient health. So, and then, uh, so that's the one, uh, also one issue we may uh, run into in um, the Vietnamese community. Um, Attitude toward uh, health maintenance. Um, yes, the um, in overall the um, um, the Vietnamese, especially Vietnamese senior, tend not to um, uh, be very active, like, like to be in charge for their health. You know, uh, look look for uh, follow um, cancer screening, uh, vaccination, uh, active exercise. Etc. Um, and um, it's um, obviously um, not optimized their health. Um, overall, um, we have several deep, uh, barriers uh, because of cultural behavior or because of uh, um, the, the ethnic uh, health profile, uh, the, the senior grow up with or bring, bring with them when they come here. Um, however, um, I just want to mention, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have quite a wide variety in di a different level of uh, acculturation and then education and uh, economy. Um, so you will see um, what um, um, the, the culture barrier or um, other health issue become more more prominent in in, in one Vietnamese, uh, but not in the other, etc. So, um, how to um, overcome those uh, uh, culture barrier? Um, and ethnic difference to um, provide appropriate care for, for, for the senior or for, for the patient, uh, no matter where they're from. Um, we, the government uh, already have a very serious uh, uh, work on this, and um, um, we have an Office of uh, Minority Health uh, it's a very good comprehensive, comprehensive website. Uh, guide us, show us step by step uh, how to be take, how how to to be a, a culturally competent healthcare provider to to uh, overcome uh, to to be able to help all people from different ethnic group, and um, they have a a, a, a guideline. Uh, like a standard, national standard, national standard for culturally and linguistically appropriate service. And the standard number one is um, the healthcare organization or, or provider should assure uh, the patient receive from uh, all staff members effective, 
understandable, respectful care and provided in a manner compatible with their culture, health, beliefs and practice and prefer language. I, I underline um, some keyword here, understandable, respectful and compatible. Um, understandable. Um, um, actually, um, I, um, in my experience, um, to to uh, to be able to approach the uh, the patient from different ethnic group, um, it's it's not too hard. It's not too hard. It's doable uh, if we think about it and try to do it. And and usually the couple. Of important thing we, 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 we have to start with is try to understand the, 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 the patient, uh, understand no matter where from they're from, understand them. Uh, how to understand them, uh, very easy. Listening, listening, listening to them. Let's try to listen to them, try to understand them. It will make the patient feel much better uh, the number one reason um, uh, the, the, the patient come back to a physician is they trust the physician, they, they believe the physician listen to them. Uh, and and um, that's how the physician can help them uh, appropriately. Um, the, the second thing is uh, respectful. So um, show them that your, your respect. Um, so um, we tend to to be biased with with um, uh, other uh, cultural behavior or, or uh, different uh, way of uh, life uh, out of the um, the common flow. We 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 bias. We we think it's wrong. It's not. Um, the right thing is um, um, try to avoid being biased. Uh, actually, try to uh, recognize the difference, respect that, and try to find a way to go around that. That's how we keep the patient with, with us. Otherwise, uh, the patient will go to different uh, uh, physician. Um, and the last one is uh, provide care in a manner compatible with their cultural health belief. Um, that's, that's also important. Uh, how to do that? Uh, I think one way is to get them involved, get them involved with uh, with, with uh, Get a get get them actively involved with with the plan of care, um, in the view of their cultural thinking. For example, I remember I yesterday I saw a patient um, in the clinic, and the patient just have so much flu, and um, management for that is usually um, uh, symptomatic relief. Uh, we we have no cure. Um, just uh, some Tylenol for fever, uh, ache and pain, uh, drink a lot of water, etc. Um, but uh, my patient yesterday was a, a, a Chinese lady. Uh, so I advised her, go home and uh, get a ginger soup, ginger soup. Um, you probably uh, know ginger, right? Uh, actually, I, I love it, uh, and and um, the uh, and I also love love the. I understand the um, the rationale behind it, and and um, I have a lot of experience with, with the ginger myself. So uh, I think it would it work well for for the GI system. Uh, so, so for stomach flu, patient feel nausea, diarrhea. Um, Instead of taking, you know, emodium or I think ginger soup may be good, and um, uh, at least there's no harm. 
at least uh, I know that there's no harm. And uh, it's, uh, it's testing uh, with the soup. So, um, thing like that. Um, we we'll get vision uh, involved. And obviously, um, that Chinese lady, she obviously she understands well the, 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 the ginger uh, soup and, and uh, she opened. Uh, she opened to, to it right away. Um, so, um, in, uh, in summary, I think um, um, Vietnamese senior uh, do have a difference in their medical profile. And the culture and traditional health belief have a, a strong impact on, on the healthcare for, for them. And um, it's um, emphasized the importance of uh, uh, caring for them in an uh, appropriate, uh, culturally appropriate way. That's how to, to help uh, um, the, 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 the patient uh, from different uh, ethnic minority groups uh, successful. Um, the take home take home message today is um, two websites. I'm sorry, I couldn't change the color of the, the first one. I don't know why. Is uh, the website from the Office of uh, Minority Health? Um, it's www.culturalhealth.hss.gov. And um, the second website is. Um, uh, a handout, a booklet about um, uh, uh, it's like a tour, a manual for uh, helping uh, Vietnamese uh, people um, in a uh, cultural appropriate way. So that the uh, the two uh, um, website you probably just keep in mind uh, when you think about uh, uh, cultural appropriate in healthcare for the people and for Vietnamese people. Uh, I think uh, that's all I have today. And um, uh, any question, uh, happy to uh, discuss with you. Yes. Very good question. Very good question. Yes, um, that that's a very uh, good good um, uh, good heart. Um, yes, um, the Vietnamese is a very uh, family center. Yes, um, and um, for example, um, the parents respond have to uh, take care of the children, raise them appropriately, uh, make them. Uh, a, a, a good person, successful person, etc. And when they own, the children are supposed to um, to help them. That's the expectation, and and the the, the, the community expectation too. Um, so it's very common in Vietnamese family. We have uh, three generation in the family, uh, very close, um, uh, and. Um, it is a big stigma to to place the parent into a, a long term care facility. Um, yes, there, there's um, there's some um, um, pro and cons. Um, the good good way is um, the the uh, the um, the senior uh, get attention, close attention from family, and. Um, so most of the time, they get help from children. But on the other hand, sometimes we end up with um, um, the, the, the care overwhelm the children's capacity. And uh, they are unable to care for them, but they won't give up. So 
uh, it end up with uh, neglect. So, so the, the, the senior get uh, adverse outcome because uh, we say uh, it's neglect. So yes, uh, it's a um, big issue, yeah. Do you see differences in, um, you call it trauma, the three uh, waves. Yes. Yeah. And the second and the third wave were clearly traumatized. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm wondering how that manifests in uh, the physical symptoms uh -huh. that the experience uh, after moving here 20, 30 years? Mm -hmm. um, the, the common issue associated with no trauma, physical or mental, uh, is a condition we usually uh, see uh, post-traumatic uh, stress uh, disorder. Uh, and, um, you know, um, the, the symptom is usually um, the, 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 the patient um, Sometimes the patients have panic attack. We, you know, like re experience what they had in the past, um, and then we, we become uh, panic and then uh, thing like that. And uh, depression that's another uh, thing associated with. And um, those tend to uh, level off over time, um, uh, but um, slowly. It's still, but but uh, slowly go up uh, over time. Yeah. Yes. Um, so if the children don't um, decide to disclose something to their parent about something they don't want to their mm -hmm. diagnosis or something, as a physician, is it your priority to tell the patient or to respect the wishes of the children? Um. That's a very good question. To be honest, uh, uh. I may not be the best answer for that issue because um, it is a very challenging issue. And sometimes in the hospital or in the clinic, we may have to use, um, you know, ethnic committee uh, to help with, with those difficult cases when we are unable to to resolve the difference uh, between the children and the, the importance of uh, dis dis disclose the information to patient. Um, usually we, we can try by, um, um, you know, persuade the, the, the family um, to understand why uh, we have to keep it uh, from the patient uh, and, and try to persuade them, uh, make them understand uh, that uh, it's, it's better uh, for a patient to understand what's going on. Uh, but but sometimes uh, we, we have very difficult family, and then um, sometimes we, we may need kind of like specialist in, in that uh, at ethic committee that they they, they uh, specialize in handling you know, those uh, conflict between uh, the family and, and the patient. Yes. Um, uh, within the Um, um, no, I, I um, um, because um, we don't know, we don't know, to be honest, uh, uh, is uh, under assessment, uh, uh, under recognized, and, and uh, I believe it's under recognized because um, at, as a um, High concentration obviously it creates a deformity in children, uh, and then um, and, and we see it right away. But uh, if it go into the environment and it get into the people slowly, day after day, uh, I don't know if anyone ever uh, able to to look at it or want to look at it. So, so I don't know. Yes. Are there no environmental factors that affect the higher rates of liver cancer and cervical cancer in the Vietnamese American population? Yes, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I forgot to mention, um, there's a slide uh, about the infectious disease and then the chronic hepatitis and uh, liver cancer, but I, I didn't mention that. Um, right now, uh, the Chronic hepatitis B and C are the most common cause of liver cancer. 
So that's why the um, um, uh, maybe because of the uh, high prevalence of uh, chronic hepatitis B and C in, uh, in 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 Southeast Asia, um, the the the, the uh, liver cancer rate is higher. Yes. Yes. I believe there is, but uh, the answer, I don't know. Um, and I, I believe we don't know yet. Uh, for example, there's some medical condition happen only in, in certain um, um, uh, area. For example, uh, multiple, uh, multiple sclerosis happen only in, uh, in the uh, country the temperate uh, area. Uh, very rare, very rare in tropical country. And um, one thing I noticed is uh, my wife, uh, she black hair. She, she also came here when she like 24. And now her hair become like a little uh, brown, brown. So I, I believe the the earth, a different um, the ma magnetic uh, force uh, affect on us, but we don't know, we don't know. Uh, but but there is yes. Um, so um, uh, we don't know why uh, Vietnamese people had less breast cancer. We don't know. Uh, probably and um, as I said earlier, uh, I don't know how long it take for for the Vietnamese who came here, born here. After several generations, uh, we will we'll have the incident of cancer very similar to the Caucasian here, here or not. Uh, there may be different because, because besides the um, environment factor, the genetic factor also play a role. So um, let's see, let's see what happens. Um, um, I think um, uh, the um, um, I, I don't have the uh, good uh, data to, to, to be able to uh, firmly say, but I believe uh, uh, maybe uh, the, the practice uh, become less and less common. Uh, the reason is uh, the acculturation. The acculturation, the, the more acculturated to the Western culture, you tend to, to behave like traditional, you know, the common uh, flow, uh, less in. And then the, um, uh, the healthcare available. Um, one of the common, uh, one, one of the reason the Vietnamese back in Vietnam use a lot of uh, traditional uh, uh, practice for, for common health issue is um, they don't have enough uh, healthcare system there. Uh, so, you know, um, in, in the countryside, it, it may take a couple of hours to get to the nearest um, doctor office. And uh, the common thing like uh, call or stomach flu, diarrhea or something, um, it happened in the middle of the night. Um, they don't. We don't have freeway in Vietnam. <laughs> uh, most people use boats, so uh, so they, they 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 tend to use um, some available um, uh, remedy to try to. Uh, so uh, that uh, the the healthcare system is very widely available here. So people will tend to less using the uh, traditional way. That, uh, that my feeling. Yeah. And do you think that the assimilation to U.S. culture also includes the social stigma of, say, mental disorders? Like, would Mr. Nguyen be more accepting of his diagnosis of depression today than he would be maybe 15 years ago? 
uh, they may, but uh, um, um, for, I, I think I think those stigma or, or uh, traditional thinking may take a couple generation to to fade away. Uh, I I don't think um, the the uh, the Vietnamese senior um, get very well acculturated and they will change that thinking uh, very hard. Uh, because I, I, I can feel it myself. Um, I've been here 20 years, but uh, uh, I can say I'm very well acculturated, but, but I still have some traditional thinking, uh, the Vietnamese way. So uh, it's very hard to change some tradition. Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, doctor, my question was related to the, uh, the cultural practices. Uh, for example, Hoang, you had mentioned that it, it would be useful that if we incorporated and listened to the cultural practices and incorporated that in our healthcare practice. The question is that well, what if uh, what if we find that some cultural practice you know, is going against the science and it's actually going you know, back? Mm -hmm. you know, what do we do at that point? And the, and a follow up with that with that would be: uh, Have you known of any cultural practices, whether it's in the Vietnamese community or any other, that have been proven to have good scientific benefit? Uh, is there? Any uh. Um, the two things, the, the first thing is uh, if some uh, cultural, traditional practice uh, seem to have adverse effect on, on the, uh, the people's health, uh, obviously we, we have to try to advise them to avoid that. Uh, the, the common issue, is, the common um, problem is um, the, the interaction between herbal medication and, and the medication patient due for for their medical condition, uh, obviously uh, that's why that's why uh, a good practice you, you have to ask. <coughs> sorry, we have, you, you have to uh, ask the patient carefully uh, about what herbal medication is used and 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 try to uh, figure out if it has any uh, interaction with the patient medication. Um, for example, we we know for sure. It's common thing like blood pressure medication, uh, um, calcium channel blocker. If, if we use with um, grapefruit, uh, it will interfere with absorption, etc. Um, so we, we, we obviously, if we know, we should uh, advise them to um, uh, stop that. Um, the other thing is um, any traditional or, or cultural practice, uh, have any uh, proven uh, science behind that? Um, the typical thing, uh, I don't know much, but uh, the, the thing I know most is um, acupuncture. Because um, when I went to medical school in Vietnam, um, I, I was trained to do acupuncture during my medical school year. Um, um, what I know about it is uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but there's some expert in, in acupuncture in, in, in Vietnam. He he used acupuncture to to anesthetize patient, to numb the patient for surgery. So it is not a, um, a random thing. It, it's a um, but but obviously uh, I know only uh, one or two people from, uh, so far able to do that. So so it's not a, uh, the thing that everyone to do. Um, why why sometimes it works, sometimes it's not working? I don't believe we have any um, scientific information about that. Um, the reason is uh, I don't think we have enough uh, study. In, in that area, but um, as I said, uh, the the uh, the camp, the camp um, uh, center, complementary alternative alternative medicine center in uh, like our uh, university, uh, 
do use uh, acupuncture as a part of their practice. So it does work. Uh, we don't know completely yet, completely, uh, but um, uh, I hope um, if we are able to study more, we may use it um, as, a, as a tool to, to help people. Um, obviously, it, for pain, if it works for pain, absolutely it's much better than, than the, the, the pain medication that I could be in uh, center. Uh, because uh, very um, a lot of side effect of long term use of all of uh, op opioid medication. Good. Yes. To um, so some patients who don't normally go to alternative practices to receive treatment, do you recommend it sometimes for them? Like if someone has a stomach flu, do you ask if they're open to doing it, or do you normally just prescribe them medicine? <laughs> um, and I said, um, um, I, I, I probably would not um, um, uh, recommend uh, ginger soup for everyone. Um, but um, for, um, for, for people who are familiar with, with, with that uh, remedy, uh, I, I would suggest that. Because um, I think it's... Um, Obviously, it's uh, harmless, and, and um, uh, I know it uh, sometimes helpful. Uh, so instead of um, using a pill, uh, that's a good alternative. Yeah, but but probably uh, we probably can use it with with um, uh, only uh, people who are familiar with that. Otherwise, we may run into problem. Yes. Um, 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 the, the, probably the, 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 the key word is uh, keep in mind. Keep in mind. Um, uh, actually, um, if if we, um, I, I think um, in in medical school, medical field, we are trained to to look at the patient, to examine the patient in a comprehensive way. And then one of them is uh, the background history, uh, social history, travel history, etc. So if um, if we do all that, and then we um, keep it in mind, uh, we probably can come into that um, um, uh, conclusion uh, um, without, you know, um, Navigating, navigating uh, uh, through a lot of testing, etc. And so, I think uh, if we do uh, a, a good job as uh, the way we train, uh, we probably can do that. Um, I think we, yeah. Um, <coughs> sorry, um, the French culture uh, affect um, more uh, uh, in, in, in the behavior, um, um, socialization, um, rather than um, less on, on the uh, uh, traditional practice uh, like, like we mentioned. Um, for example, um, the um, um, the Vietnamese senior, for example, they uh, they they very respect uh, the woman, like uh, lady first uh, thing like that. Um, so um, so that that may show may show you may you may show their that you may notice their behavior uh, uh, express that, but. Um, um, 
um, in, in terms of uh, um, traditional health practice, probably it's it, it, uh, less um, influenced uh, compared to the Chinese um, influence. Yeah. Uh, in a lot of Indian populations, um, they've been noticing that uh, a lot of the patients turn to homeopathic or Ayurvedic medications, um, just to recognize alternative medicine after their illnesses have been deemed terminal. So after the use of um, Western medications, say in cases of cancer, chemotherapy doesn't work, and now it's, um, their cancer is terminal, they look to alternative medication as a center. Is that something similar you guys are noticing in the Vietnamese American populations as well? Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, happened to every everyone. Uh, when they, we, we try to, uh, we, people live by hope. Um, you know, when when um, we get into uh, um, terminal disease without cure, um, then then uh, we, we we tend to look for some um, some hope from some uh, somewhere. Yeah, it is very common. Uh, for for people with uh, terminal cancer, uh, doctor give up with chemo radiation. They give up. Um, they may go either to Mexico or, or, or to go back to Vietnam and then look for some um, uh, alternative medicine treatment over there. Yeah. Um, the the. Application of again uh, application of uh, complementary alternative medicine, I think, is um, it is um, it's useful um, as uh, as long as we use it the right way. And I I uh, I think the uh, the center for uh, CAM uh, that's the way to go. Uh, we have a center focusing in. Uh, studying and knowledge about it to, to help us use it the right way. Yeah, I think that's the, the way to go. Yes? I'm just wondering, what is your personal opinion about alternative medicine? And like, how, how, how do you agree with it? Or how do you disagree with it in some aspects? Um, I, I open to it. And um, something uh, I, 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 I know it works. Uh, I open to it and I follow that. For example, I, I know ginger soup work because I experienced it personally several times, and uh, I know it's helpful. So I, I uh, and for example, acupuncture. Um, that's something seems very, very promising, um, and I, 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 I think we only need more study to to learn how to do it the right way. Because we, I, I, um, there, um, lately there are several studies um, uh, in, in Europe um, about acupuncture, about uh, its efficacy, uh, and um, I, I, um, it, it come out uh, not hundred percent, but fifty fifty. So something there. Uh, it just need more time or uh, more study. So. So that 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 what I my attitude to to the uh, CAM, uh, if uh, we have evidence it works and it's not harmful, uh, it's a good tool to use it. Um, let's say uh, people nowadays with chronic pain, chronic back pain, and and how we have to deal with with that. Most of people deal with now by pain medication, opioid medication. And, and end up with um, opioid overdose and uh, over years and dependent. To be honest, I, uh, I see a lot of that and, and um, I'm scared. And uh, I, 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 I hope uh, there's a better way. And, and we did have study in, in, in Europe, like German uh, used acupuncture for back pain. And, and um, uh, there's some level of efficacy. So if we able to know more about it and we can apply it uh, more successfully, it will be a very good alternative compared to uh, a pain medication. Thank 
you, Dr. Lee, for coming. Um, DIM has wants to present okay. this to you Thank as you. a gift. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.